Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and Monty the Mouse is with us again with his big ears <laughs> and today we are going to be looking at this which should hopefully be the latest issue of the Imagine FX magazine so let's go and have a look at this one so this should hopefully be issue number 216 of the Imagine FX magazine for the month of September 2022 and so far we've looked at these ones so these have been the 2022 ones so far <laughs> 2022 ones we had a f we started the year off with a Final Fantasy special which was cool that was my favourite cover for a long time then we had this one this one <laughs> this, one. this is a nice one all about anatomy I'll put links and everything in the description for each of these issues now this one was the one that got got lost in the post so i really like that cover though i think it's a cool cover then we had this one this was a this is a really cool cover as well there's been some quite nice covers this year but i feel like this year has actually been quite a it's not been my favorite year for covers but last issue last month was this one look a manga special now I don't think anything is going to beat that cover this year because that for me is like one of my favourites yeah, I think it's a cool cover that one so let's get into this one, little Monty's going to let us in and the question we have is is it going to be as nice as that one? what do you think is going to be on the cover? I'd like to have a red one little Monty, hey, ooh, looks like it's going to be a purple one is, a space, is it a spaceship or a robot? Oh, that's quite cool. That's my favourite bit, that is. Getting into the... Hey, cool. It's all about Procreate, look. <laughs> Little Monty. This one, look, is built by the artist Jim Roden. You know what? I don't normally like... Um, I'm more into, like, female characters and sort of animals and things. That is a really cool cover. I love the style of this robot. I love the I love the fact that they went with a lilac purple and like a and a green. There's something about that one is really cool. I still think that's my favourite though, just because I think that character's got so much character about it. But this robot is brilliant. And actually they're both sort of doing the same same sort of pose really so we've got a little, a little proco that was one of the covers from an Imagine FX magazine that was from years ago I think it was issue number 216 so this looks like it's going to be all about procreate which would be nice little Monty's going to let us in <laughs> doing inside we go with our we've got our editor friend Rob Little, the little Robster. What have we got here? We've got. I like this one. That looks like a nice little artist studio. What I'm liking about this is lots of different sort of um, styles. It all looks quite cool. Oh yeah, look at that. That's going to be next month. Issue number two hundred and seventeen. Oh, I hope that's on the cover. If that's on the cover, that will be my favourite. Hey, <laughs> colour and light. I bet James Gurney's in that one. A James Gurney. A James. A James. A James. A James. F expose. Is that um? That's um. What's his face? Oh, you know, that's the bloke from um. The, that's the anime, isn't it? The manga. I'm sure that's the manga guy. I like that one. Reminds me a bit of Thundercats. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I love it. Look. Oh, cool. What happens is, right, every now and again you'll find an artist who, like, speaks to you. And what's cool is you can go on their website. This is why I love these Imagine Effects magazines. 
you, you find like artists to follow and stuff. I'm really liking the way there's lots of different um, styles. <laughs> Look at him, look. Got a little happy face on him. The hunter and po Oh, I've just realised something. I didn't cover the um, the URL. I have to do that. The rookies. Boost your creativity with mid journey. I wonder what that's all about. Looks cool, eh? These look a bit like sort of um, going into someone's dreams or something. That's nice. Oh yeah. Oh cool. The, do you know what these look like? These look like sort of um, higher beings. The sort of entity that I would expect to see in a psychedelic experience. Alex Ruzzi. Ruiz. See, this is another artist I'd look into. I'd like to ask them questions like, are they, where are they getting these, where are they getting these things from? Paul Scott Canavan, <laughs> got a little Furby. I like that, it's very clean and crisp. I've seen that thing before, that's a, um, you can program that thing to do anything basically. Somebody said about using that for doing video editing. I can't remember the name of it though. Quite expensive though. Look, he's got video games here N64, PS3, Dreamcast. He's got Mega Drive. <laughs> cool. And he's got loads of books as well. Oh, I like this one. Letters! I, I think my letter will not be getting in into this thing. Which is a bit of a shame. But hopefully they've got my letter. Beauty in the Beasts. I like that. Hmm. This looks like, ah, oh, it's that thing. Fantastic Beasts. See, I didn't know that that was Harry Potter. Somebody, somebody said, how oh, could you not know that that's from J.K. Rowling? But I, I don't really sort of follow stuff like that. I like the shape of that one. I like these shapes actually. I imagine these have got very cool silhouettes. <laughs> Give them a look. Sketchbook of Josh Attack. What a cool name. Josh Attack. Cool sketchbook as well. <laughs> I like this one. The Jekko. Oh, look at him, look. Cool, isn't he? Look, there's a, um, there's a relationship there. There's a beautiful sort of communication going on between these two. I'd copy that. That's one of those ones I'd, I'd copy. Josh Attack. I'm going to look into this artist as well. Into the workshops. Paint a snappy bot in Procreate. Cool. I really like that. I, I'm very surprised how much I like this robot. But like I said, I'm not normally into robots. Illustrate a fun sci-fi cartoon in Photoshop. I like that um, hand coming out the thing. I like it when we, when we see the little thumbnails and things. Personally, I prefer thumbnails and sketches to finished drawings, really. Design original characters. Nice shapes. Now 
nice shapes, but not a sort of character I would sort of fall in love with or something. But then she's she's sort of I feel like she's an evil an evil character with all these like angles and things. Oh, I like that, like that one. Create unique art with AI tools. No, I'm not in. I watched a video on YouTube though. Somebody made a music video using some sort of AI thing, and it was really cool. It was like going through. Um, what they done was they somehow got a load of paintings, and the AI sort of turned all their paintings into like a a video or something. It was very weird. It was cool. It's weird though, isn't it? Like, you might end up with robots creating artwork in the future. <laughs> That's a bit weird. You'll have robots creating robots soon. They're probably already doing that. Blender 3.0 and 3.1. Huion Canvas Pro 13. It's only 400 quid, which isn't that bad really, is it? For like a brand new one. It's got four and a half out of five, it has. Yeah, from my little bit of research, it seems like Huion is pretty much, pretty much like um, as good as Wacom now, but like after price. Or a quarter of the price. <laughs> Traditional artists. Oh yeah. Cool. Look. Oh, these are brilliant. Oh, I love this. Vincent Bailey. Cool. I like the fit. These are beautiful, aren't they? Look, an owl with a third eye. Foxes. I saw a fox the other day. Actually, I saw two foxes. I saw a fox. What happened was the other day I opened my front door and there was a fox right outside the door. <laughs> it was amazing. I like that. We did something like that at our class last night. What she did was at art class she was she was painting trees but she was using you know those things you do for plastering those, those big um silver pla plastering things she was using those as like palette knives it's quite interesting first impressions that's the end of it that was cool that was really cool that one my what's my favorite thing I think my favourite thing was actually definitely the sketchbook, that was amazing. I feel like the sketchbook and yeah for me the sketchbook and the FX Pose bit. Like there's some there's some really beautiful things in this one. Oh well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm still I still think that's my favourite cover though. But that's gonna be my second one I think, my second favourite. But I like the colours. Also, I've got a hot chocolate here, which I haven't had a hot chocolate for ages. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you later for another one.